Hi, this is Kelly and I wanted to show you inside of my survival trailer. So a lot of people have seen this trailer in the bottom of my hill by my driveway and you might wonder what's inside. So some of the items I've actually removed and they're in my cabin. And so the ones that aren't in my cabin are here. Here is my longbow case from the self bow that I made and my bowstring. Some propane tanks to put on Mr. Heaters for, you know, cold temperatures, keeping you warm. My Yonserad, um Turbo Chainsaw. And inside of here is a winter survival type tent. Actually, you can do more than survive. You can live there for a long time. And then I just got an empty suitcase because... I do a lot of traveling and I'm going to be heading to SHOT Show and the Outdoor Retailer Show pretty soon to get some more sponsors. So back in here, I have two sets of snowshoes in Michigan. At my Michigan house, I have a lot of snowshoes, um, but these are not the traditional ones. I haven't gotten them out here yet. So here's a pair of metal ones and here's a pair of uh, Atlas rubberized and, and metal these were picked up at a resale shop by a friend and given to me for Christmas one year. Actually, I think my birthday. And here is just a kid's um, sled that I kind of adapted to hauling behind my snowshoes or from my cross-country skis. And here I have a couple gas cans. It's always important when traveling long distances to have gas cans, especially in inclement weather in the winter. I'm going to be heading up to the Rocky Mountains in British Columbia and Saskatchewan and also heading to Alberta. So I'm gonna need some cold weather type survival gear. Here's an extra set of arrows in my quiver. And here is my Plano bow case where my um, Bowtech Carbonite bow, the lightest bow, adult bow on the market is held with, along with a lot of other um, practice tips and broadheads, including um, the ones that I often use and also some for small game as well. Back here is my mongoose mountain board. You can use it for um, just going down mountains, but actually I do it for land windsurfing. And then I also have, you know, some of my girly clothes here. A lot of my sort of everyday coats and things. And then here I have um, all of my camouflage pants and things like that. And here I have a lot of my camouflage, camouflage coats. I have uh, all season full weather gear, waterproof, fleece, different layers, outer layers, inner layer shells, some more winter type gear and some fancier stuff for maybe when I head down to Zion and, and Bryce and Canyonlands and all those areas. I have some of my shoes and boots, winter boots, cross country ski boots. I have a couple pieces of wood here for setting my trailer tongue on because um, some friends borrowed it and the um, little platform that the tongue uh, crank sets on is no longer there. So now I have some pieces of board. They're also good in case you get stuck. And I have some long johns or whatever you'd like to call them. All kinds of wool socks, various thicknesses. Of course, some nice, uh, you know, survival shoes here. And of course, I'm being facetious, but I also have my Cannondale mountain bike shoes and my mountain bike is already waiting for me in BC. Might do some snow biking this year. Got my snow all, all weather shoe protectant and my Carhartt bibs as well, as well as a nice polka dot dress and um, some nightwear, you know, important stuff. So that's kind of it. I've got all these different layers of long johns and some shorts and things like that because I'm going to be heading down to Salt Lake City and also down to um, northern Arizona and possibly Texas as well filming a 13 episode survival series. I've got my bean boots that I just um, resealed and I've had these for about 12 years and so they're still good to go. I'm wearing my bean boots right now. So these are my newer bean boots. They're awesome if you've never worn them. I've got some lanterns here I'm gonna pick up some batteries for. And then I've got regular lanterns. I've got much more survival gear in my truck, which I'll be showing you in a later video. And then I have a 
helmet here used for all kinds of winter sports. And of course, I'm a true patriot. So here's my American flag. So I hope you enjoyed the view into my survival shelter and <laughs> trailer. So I've also got a bunch of other gear here inside of here, like a bunch of survival books and magazines as well. So hope you have a great day. Get outdoors and go wild.